Hey guys, welcome to Auto Amateur Live. Uh, first off, I want to start by saying Happy Father's Day to all of the dads out there. Uh, my Father's Day started off with a headbutt. Uh, can you see it here? From my uh, from my youngest, Adam. That was fun. <laughs> I also have a scratch on my nose uh, from my my boy Luke. So we've spent the past couple of hours basically playing Attack Daddy. It is what it is. Uh, anyway, happy Father's Day to all of the all of the guys out there that have kids. Uh, but also want to send a massive shout out to all of the guys out there that play the role of father and play father figures or uncles or just cool responsible adult for children that don't have fathers. I think that's also super important to uh, to celebrate today. Uh, so with that in mind, what am I doing for Father's Day? Well, I am here with you guys and girls to configure every father's Dream 911, or at least this father's Dream 911, the GT3 Touring. I am so excited uh, to be able to do this with you guys. Uh, so let's see uh, who's on the chat. Uh, Christopher's here, good morning. Um, and Harry, waiting for an interesting live show. Yeah, thanks, it's gonna be fun, it, it's gonna be fun. And uh, Alberto, how are you doing, mate? Good to see you, happy Father's Day too. Wow, fantastic. So yeah, Father's Day, uh, my wife Ruthie has taken the kids out for a couple of hours so that I can do this live stream. Uh, I have my uh, official Porsches and Pancakes massive Yeti mug here to have a good sip of coffee. And uh, yeah, we're here to talk about the GT3 Touring. Now, a couple of, um, I mean, let's just, let's just jump into it. Why don't we? Let's take a look at what the GT3 looks like because that came out... Um, what now? It was announced a year ago. It's been on release for about six months, something like that, I guess. It's, uh, uh, hello, Ian. Um, Ledbury, England. Awesome. Happy, Father Day. Uh, happy Father's Day to you, too. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the, um, the GT3. I mean, this was released, what, six months ago. It caused quite a stir. Um, everyone has been talking about it. It's all over the, uh, it's, it's, it's all over the news. It's gorgeous. Can you guys see that now? Let me see. Yeah, there we go. You can see it. You can see it. I'm looking at my YouTube on my phone as well, and it looks like there's maybe a sort of 10 or 20 second delay. Uh, so at least you can see that, and that's cool. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. Look at it. It's got the new lines. It, it screams track car. It's GT3. Uh, you know... <laughs> Why, why, why wouldn't you want to take a look at that car? It's just, it's, it's gorgeous. What else have we got to see? Um, I mean, I really like the blue rims. I love the lines that go around the side of the wheel. Uh, the, 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 the vent on the front is now a little different as well. Instead of it just being uh, a single vent across the front of the hood, it's, uh, it's now a vent uh, which has two sides, which I think makes it look a little bit more aggressive. I have to say, I'm a big, big fan of that. So the one thing I noticed, though, when we took a look at this the first time was just what a big, massive wing it has on the back, right? So let's let's go back to that other view. It's huge. It's like they've RS'd that ring. Uh, the, the, it's, it's like they've RS'd the, uh, the, the back of the wing already. Like, how big is the, uh, is the RS going to be when it gets out? It's going to be huge. It's going to be absolutely massive. I mean, it is, right? I mean, it's it's uh, it's super huge. Here, let me get my focus back. Hello. That's not going to work. <laughs> well, who wants to see my mug anyway? Here, let's see if this works. There we go. That should be a bit better now. Come on. Oh, and now, great. Now... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's better. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the GT3 scoring. So I, uh, the, the touring, I'm going to share my screen and uh, we're going to go to Porsche.com and hopefully you can still see my mug somewhere down here on the screen. Uh, yes, you can. Awesome. Very good. Oh, this is exciting. Super exciting. So one thing to note, uh, let's see, do we have... Da -da -da. All right, that'll do. Um... 
just so there's the GT3 itself, and it starts at one hundred and sixty-one thousand dollars. Just over 500 horses. It's a naturally aspirated engine, of course, which all of us GT car enthusiasts love. Of course, the GT2 is turbo uh, charged, but the, the GTS and the GT3, that's what we want out of life. We want our naturally aspirated engines. Um, it goes zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds and a top track speed of 197. Now let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the touring. Ta-da! I mean, why are we getting excited about this? It's basically exactly the same. It's basically the exact same car, right? It just doesn't have the wing. So what is all this fuss over the GT3 Touring? Well, I think for many Porsche enthusiasts, the GT3, while it's revered and while it's respected and it's, it's highly desirable, it's just a bit too much for a daily driver. It's a little bit too in your face for a street car. I mean, it's essentially a street legal race car. What I think the GT3 Touring offers is a more subtle street car look for a daily driver or even just for a weekend fun car. But it has, you know that like under the subtlety, there is the tremendous naturally aspirated engine. I think this one is, this one, they started at four liters this time, I think. I need to double check that. Um, but just look at that. Now, I think, this is the manual spec. So here we can see um, a zero to 60 um, of 3.7 seconds, but over on the, the GT3, the standard, um, it's 3.2. And I think that is because we're saying here, and we're gonna compare them. Um, so we're gonna take a look at the GT3. We'll take a look at it in PDK. Should we look at it in PDK? Is that gonna be too? Let me check on the comments. <laughs> PDK or manual, guys? Well, I'm gonna go PDK. Let's take a look at PDK. No, that's just that. Let's just look at manual. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint everybody. Uh, so we're also gonna take a look at the uh, the touring uh, in manual. Also, let's have a look at that. Show comparison. So manual to manual. Here we go. Fantastic. They're both 502 horses. They both have a zero to sixty in 3.7 and they've both got a top track speed of 199. I mean, it's, it, it quite literally is the exact same car, but without the wing and a couple of other different um, styling features. Uh, you get, you know, different calipers as standard. Um, you get for the touring, you got the nice little touring logo on the back without the wing. Um, so we're gonna take a look at that in a little bit more detail. Um, height, width, length, of course, the same, wheelbase the same. Uh, so should we just get into it? I think, I think we should. Quick sip of coffee. And let's get into it. Now, as I build and price my dream uh, GT3 here, I am going to take um, recommendations from anybody on the uh, on the phone, <laughs> on the phones, on the on the uh, on the messages. Uh, let's have a quick look before we jump in. GT992 GT3 manual cries in California. Oh, yeah. Now, guys, what a disappointment. I, I'm not sure if everybody knows. You may, may well do. Um, in California, they will not sell, allow Porsche to sell GT3 Tourings in manual. Now, good old California, trying to save the world, horribly in debt. Um, the state's on fire six months of the year. A an amazing place, avocado and everything. But why can't you have your 911? In manual, is it is it an emissions thing? Is it? I don't know. That's that's sad. But the question I have is, can you go and buy yourself an automatic GT3 Touring in Nevada and just drive it across the border, or go to Porsche of uh, Phoenix in Arizona and you know take that four or five hour road trip and drive it back? Your PDK. I mean, are you allowed to do that? I'm not sure. Anyway, poor old California. Yep, yeah, sorry, Californians. Uh, Chris, you want it in PDK. Alberto, you want it in manual. Um, Honeymon 57er, you want it in manual. It's just, you know, there are a lot of fans here for, um, for, for, for manual. Now, are we going to go, oh, noise regulations. Okay, sound compliance. Oh, that's interesting and ridiculous, frankly, uh, in, my, in my opinion, my book, if it, if it counts for anything. Um, 
Now, the question is, are we going to go like completely all out and garish? Um, are we going to stay subtle? We are absolutely not. I'll tell you this right now. We are not configuring this thing in white. And as much as I love the color black for a 911, we are not, absolutely not configuring it in black. Um, I saw a comment there. Hang on. Something about California. Yeah, you have the best roads. You do have some absolutely fantastic driving roads. I'll give you that, sir. Yeah, very much. All right, we'll go manual. Fine. Okay, let's have a quick look around it. Um, beautiful lines. Absolutely gorgeous lines. You can see here. Um, can we zoom in maybe? You see on the back of the deck lid, um, this is, uh, I think, what people want to start spending upwards of $190,000 or $200,000 once it's been configured. Uh, they want to see the GT3 Touring little special badge on the back. I mean, that's basically it, <laughs> apart from having an absolutely monster car. And then if we take a look at the front, um, the two uh, intakes instead of the one original sort of traditional intake across the front, uh, to me, that kind of makes it look a little bit like an F1 car. You know, yeah, sort of the metaphor for the front of the F1 car with the two fins at the very front. Um, I, I think that's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, now, all right, let's go. What else have we got? The interior um, looks like the 911, looks like the 992. Uh, a couple of things that I've noticed, um, the, the, uh, the tack face looks slightly different in that we've got GC3 across the front, of course, um, but we've got the yellow uh, major and minor etches around the circle, and it goes all the way to 10,000 RPM. I mean, isn't that just fantastic? Let's take a quick look at the comments again. Uh, custom color to match your 996. That is a great suggestion. I do like um, that color, but Pat and I christened that color shark skin blue. And then a few months later, Porsche released the GT3 in shark blue. They're just copying our style, obviously. <laughs> nostrils. Um, no, don't say that. It doesn't. The car doesn't look like it's got nostrils. Maybe it does now. God damn it. Why, why did you have to get up this morning and start commenting on my video? Anyway, never mind. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, I, I like the, uh, the color uh, options around the center of the tack. Um, now, I think the thing that most people are talking about is the is the reintroduction of the manual shifter back into the 992. It looks absolutely incredible. You look at the base Carreras, you look at the, the, the S's, etc. cetera. Um, they've got that tiny little uh, cigarette lighter kind of switcher in the middle, uh, which is fine. It kind of, you know, in, in many respects, I kind of feel like it's neutered the, the sports car kind of feel having that little little uh, switcher in the middle. The fact that it's now got the, the manual shifter back in, um, I love it. I absolutely love it. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> the one back credenza, you're here to ruin things. Well, you know, fair enough. It's fine. Um, I like a bit of chaos. Uh, the seats, they've got the sports seats. Now, are they the... They are, are they? Are they the bucket seats? I'm not sure. The size of those bolsters kind of makes me think that they are. And and if you've been following me, if you know me at all, you know that I do not like the carbon fiber seats. And that because that's because they're not like, you know, fatties like me. They're for skinny little racing car drivers that get thrown around like a rag doll when they're running around the tracks. <sighs> All right, let's get back to it. So we've had a quick talk. We've had a quick tour. It's absolutely gorgeous, of course. I'm going to keep saying that because it is. Uh, let's take a look at the color options. Black. Who wouldn't want a black GT3? I would. I, I, I mean, I, I kind of would. Uh, oh, was that the PDK knob in the GT3? No. No way. Really? We're, we're configuring a manual car. All right. Hold that thought. We're going to test that. Um, all right. So black, of course, black looks fantastic. Oh, look at that back end. That rear spoiler. I'm sorry, that rear uh, diffuser on the bottom is really something to marvel. And um, God, what a, what a sexy ass. Look at that. With the curves and the lines and the, the mesh on the deck lid. <laughs> Getting heart palpitations here. All right, so we get it in guards red, okay? Like, 
most Porsches. In fact, I, I think off the top of my head, these four colors are standard for all of the 911 range. Um, black with gold wheels. Don't worry, we will get there and take a look at black with gold wheels. Um, now, the, the racing yellow... Racing yellow versus speed yellow of old. I, I, I think I still like the speed yellow, to be honest. Um, the racing yellow looks great. And if my scouse mate who lives in uh, Phoenix is on watching this, uh, Michael, I know you have a you have a, uh, a racing yellow 991, which looks lovely. It's fantastic. Looks a little bit like a taxi. Just going to say it. But it does look really good. Um, there's the guards red. Now, let's go into the metallic colors. Uh, we've got the Carrera White, and the Carrera White from the standard white just looks, I don't know, it looks almost a little bit more polished, I guess. Maybe that's the metallic look. Um, the white can look a little flat, I think. The metallic sort of really kind of brings it to life. Um, jet Black Metallic, let's take a look at that over the standard black. Yeah, I think if I was going to do metallic, it would be the, uh, if I was going to do black, it would be the Jet Black as well. Uh, my current car is in uh, this uh, Agate Grey or Argate Grey. Agate Grey, I think it is. Um, and I, I think that looks pretty nice. It looks really elegant, but as my good mate Nick Murray says, there are too many grey cars out there in the world, especially grey Porsches, so we're not going to go grey this time. I'm going to keep checking on the comments. Um, a, ducting, a ducktail would look really good, yes. Uh, Nick Murray also says no to yellow as well. You know, Nick and I don't agree on a lot, but we do agree on the yellow color, and uh, he's brought me around to his way of thinking about gray cars and also kind of walking around naked in my garden. No, I've never done that, and I never will. Nobody needs to see that. Uh, Dolomite Silver Metallic, uh, meh, it's kind of like, I was going to say it's kind of like GT Silver. It is. I mean, look how similar that is to GT Silver. Um, GT Silver still looks great. Michael Bath, if you're watching, and uh, the uh, live or on the replay. Um, your Silver 997 looks the absolute mutts nuts. Um, so I do like the GT Silver. Dolomite Silver, meh, can take it or, take it or leave it. Now this, this new Gentian Blue Metallic, um, which sort of replaced the Midnight Blue, I think it was, from the 997 range and the first generation 991 range, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, I think it's really special. I really like how it looks, but is it the color for a 911? I'm not, I'm not so sure. Um, maybe not with those wheels, maybe with different colored wheels, but it, it's, it's a really nice color, but I just, I'm not sure that's the color for a 911. Let's see how you guys are doing. Uh, green, all right, let's take a look at some of the fancier colors. Special, can somebody tell me why chalk is a special color? It looks like unfinished putty <laughs> from the factory. It's like they've primed the car, but they haven't yet painted it. Now, I've got a couple of friends with chalk colored cars, and admittedly, they do make me do a double take. And in, in person, they, they do look pretty good. They do look good. But at the same time, they're still a bit like... I, I think in like five years' time, people are going to turn around and they're going to say, oh, that was just so 2020 or so 2019. Uh, oh, now let's get a little bit more exotic. Lava orange. Now, being a ginger, I try and stay away from wearing orange. In fact, most of the time, I just wear black. <laughs> and it's because I have gingerish hair, and I have a very pink slash pasty complexion. So you won't get me wearing yellow unless it's a Liverpool jersey. Um, you won't get me wearing pink. You won't get me wearing purple, even on Vikings days. Um, and you certainly won't see me in an orange t-shirt. I mean, I just think layering ginger on a ginger, orange on a ginger, is just cruel. I, I just can't do it. Um, so I would never, ever go for this color for a car for myself. With one caveat. Uh, a friend of mine who actually just recently sold it, you know, he picked it up about 18 months ago. He had a lava orange um, GT, uh, GT3 991.2. And it did look really good. Still didn't go with me. And the closer I got to it, the more I felt like the car was clashing with me. Uh, but it is absolutely tremendous. It's still really nice. I think I'm going to like shark blue. Oh, <laughs> look at that color. 
It looks so good. And we'll just quickly look at Python Green. Nick Murray, I'm sorry, mate. You and your Pythons and your uh, your Pythons and your Mambas. I'm just not going for it. Um, any brown options? No. Who who would want a brown car? Wait. No one. <laughs> Come on. Who wants a brown car? I've seen one brown 911. Didn't look good. Um, it didn't sell very well either. It sat on a lot for the best part of um, a number of years. Now, wheels. Wait a minute. We only get one wheel option? That can't be right. That cannot be right. I mean, they're nice. Oops. Let's, uh, oh, sorry. Let's blow it up. I mean, they're nice wheels. They're sort of slightly spider-like. And, and what I do like about the latest generation is that they've they've moved away from the uh, from the sort of oval-shaped uh, spokes on the GT3 wheels. Um, you know, it's nice that GT3 have had their own sort of particular rims for a while now, um, but I like that. I, my friend Chris with his uh, 992C4S, his wheels, in my opinion, are the perfect wheels of all time for Porsches. They're in that satin platinum color. Um, they are the spidery kind of like me mechanically kind of spoky. Just take a look at them on the, 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 the regular. I would love those on this. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be much of an option. Uh, but maybe we can change up the colors. Uh, so let's see. If we're going to go with shark blue, and that seems to be um, a pretty popular choice. Um, oh, I've lost my comments. Where are we? Yeah, shark blue seems to be a pretty popular choice. That's what we're going to do. Cassis red, yes, that would also be really cool. Um, Costas, welcome to the party. Happy Father's Day to you too, my friend. Uh, all right, so we're going to go shark blue. Let's see what else we've got. Wheels painted in satin black. Yeah. D maybe. I'd have to get rid of the... We do the, um, the, the the window surround in high gloss black. I think that would be better. Um, or matte black. I'm not so sure about those, those black wheels. Let's see what else we got. Wheels painted in satin black with outer lip and shark blue. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that looks really nice. Uh, get rid of that chrome, uh, chrome trim. Absolutely. We're going to be getting rid of as much chrome as possible. I, I kind of like that, I think. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that for now, but let's see what let's see what other options there are. Wheels painted in satin neodyme. So this is the gold option, and um, for the person commenting who suggested black with gold wheels, <sighs> oh, 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 oh. come on, can anybody see that? Look, look how good that looks. You know, to quote a line from one of my favorite all-time movies, that is money. That is money right there. How good does that look? That is so good. Let's just take a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to get rid of that gold trim around the, uh, the window, uh, the chrome trim around the window. That's not cool. Uh, all right, so that, honestly, I... I am leaning towards that, but I feel like it is just a little boring for our purposes today. Um, I do really like the shark blue color. So let, let's go with shark blue um, and let's go with those. What, what other options do we have? Satin, dark, silver. Yeah, except. Yeah, I'm, I, I think that's what my choice is going to be. Yeah, I actually like how that goes together a lot. Um, outer lip in guards red. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> no. There you go. I think I think that's timeless and class. Even though the color itself might not be timeless, um, those rims look beautiful. And against the, the drilled roses and the red calipers, yeah. Yeah, Chris, I think you agree with me there. Red and gold, yeah. Looks huge compared to your 997, Gary. I know, right? It, it really does. I've seen one of these sat next to a 997 recently, and it is it's incredible how big they are. All right, so we've got um, we got blue, we got silver. Uh, let's see about the interior. Um, not a lot of choice. I wonder if this is just because it's only just been released. I, I mean, with the second generation 991, um, 
I've seen those configured with the heritage package kind of look with the hound's tooth, um, with tartan seats. Uh, I, I wonder, well, there you go. There is a two-tone exclusive uh, option. Uh, color selection. Let's add it anyway and see if we can pick up any colors along the way. Yeah, here we go. Uh, color selection. Um, so we've got blue, we've got silvery wheels. Uh, I'm going to see what chalk looks like. As much as I said that looks like primer, chalk actually looks good on the interior. Let's have a dig. Mm. Can I can I reconfigure that, please? Nah, all right, we'll come back to that. that that's, that's all right, that's all right. Uh, all right. No. Hail no, as Will Smith says. So, all right, so they're the full bucket seats with the carbon fiber. I mean, you all know that I like carbon fiber. Look at that. It looks very nice. I mean, the, the seats look cool. They're just torture devices. They're just not comfortable at all. Um, not for fatties, anyway, or tall people, or wide people whatever you want to refer to yourself as. Um, but what I am going to do is go for the adaptive 18-way seats. Um, I've sat in them before. They're very comfortable. Uh, even for, you know, broad guys like me with wide shoulders, these upper bolsters actually hug you. They're actually really comfortable. So I wouldn't worry if you're a big guy um, going for the sportier seats with the higher bolsters. Um, and in fact, even here, I think this, the sports seats plus, you, you're still going to get um, the upper bolsters here with the, the 991 generation and pr prior to that you had the regular seats which were the sort of typical slim line and then you had the sportier seats which had the, the upper bolsters I think they're all standard now with these upper bolsters but we're going to go for 18 way seats because uh, we like to fiddle <laughs> take that for what it what it means what it will uh, yeah right um, Mr. Wombat if I could ever get an allocation Chris from Porsche Minneapolis. If you're looking at this, give me an allocation and $200,000. <laughs> uh, all right, packages. We've got the, um, ooh, what's this? Touring package in black. Side window trims in black, um, tinted lower front light units. Uh, yes. Tailpipes in black, their tail, <clears throat> can't talk. Tailpipes in black, yes. Porsche Real logo, yes. I like that. All right, included, disappear, bye. Let's take a look at that and see if it's come through on the configuration. So is that darker? Can't tell. The Porsche lettering on the back, I'm not sure it's been updated. Let's take that off. Yeah, I'm not sure it's showing us in the configurator. Well, I can imagine it, what it looks like in my head. So here we go. <laughs> um, who said that? Dakarius Ashby. I'm a big, important YouTuber. Allocation, please. Um, no, I think it's, I'm just a big YouTuber. Please give me an allocation. <laughs> Absolutely not important. All right, exterior. Woo, baby, carbon fiber roof. Come on, you know, you know I'm going to look at this. Uh, let's go. All right, come on, please show me it in the configurator. Yes. Yeah, if I'm going to get a touring and I've got the money for a touring, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a carbon fiber roof. Um, exterior mirror, lower trim, and base in exterior color. Show me what that looks like. Uh, no, actually, I don't like that. That's too much blue. I like the contrasting black. Why did the wheels change there? Can you see the 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 um the looks like the tires are changing? No, maybe it was just that other view. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. I don't want that. No, thank you. Um, underdoor puddle light projectors. No, no. Patrick, if you're watching, I'm sorry. No. I mean, look, all right. 
let's just take this down. Let's break this down a little bit. Puddle light projectors. Okay. I get it. When I had my 997, people were saying, you don't need to put Porsche decals on the side of your doors because people know it's Porsche. I, I eventually took that on board. And would I get Porsche decals on the side of my car again? Yes, probably, because I think it looks really good. But when I open my door, do I want to see Porsche on the floor where all the crud is and crap is, like glittering on a muddy puddle? No, there is no need for that. Absolutely not. That goes in the spinning rims category as, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so big no to that. Exclusive design fuel cap because, yes, of course, $160 on top of what is now $190. Yep, that's pretty good. Um, stone guards on rear fenders in black. I, I You know, maybe not for me. Um, they looked great on my friend Mario's uh, 991, admittedly. Um, I'm not so sure about that. No, we don't like that. Um, exterior mirror trims in carbon fiber. Uh, yes. <laughs> let's take... Oh! Let's let's get close up here. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, I mean it's a touring. It's got to be special, and that's going to tie in with the roof. So yes, thank you. All right, performance. Uh, seven speed. Uh, PDK. Six speed. Manual sports transmission, not for sale in California. Boo hoo. So. Somebody just told me a second ago. Okay, I can see it's changed. So there's the manual shifter, and you can see the gear positions on the top. And it looks almost like a bit of a, like a retro kind of um, shifter knob on top. If we go to the PDK, it's the exact same. Yeah, it's the exact same uh, shifter. It just has the um, it just has the automatic gear positions on the top. So it, yeah, it, it it's the same either way. It obviously is going to function different. Um, PDK, of course, you get the paddle shifters. You don't with the with the uh, with the manual, and then yeah, you can see the um, the brake paddle is slightly wider, and you've got the clutch there in the manual. So I'm sorry, guys. We're going to customize this with PDK because I am a PDK fan. Just wait until your kid gives you the puddle lights for Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> and asks him to install them. Oh, just like your kid did too. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, maybe I would. I probably would. I, I, I've got to give you that. Yeah, fair enough. Extended fuel range gas tank. Sure. Never want to get stuck out in the wilderness again. Uh, quick tangent. When I got my first 911, it was 996 in uh, Seal Grey. I drove it back from Brea, California. Best road trip of my life. Um, scariest, scariest part of my life as well, almost in some respects, was driving through Wyoming, getting bored of being on the highways. I decided to pull off. I had three quarters of a gas tank, um, figured it was fine. I drove for 300 miles-ish, maybe less than that, of course, because I only had three quarters of a gas tank. But I drove for hundreds of miles. I didn't see another car. I didn't see another human being. I didn't see another town. I certainly didn't see another gas station. And it got to the point where the sun was going down, I'm driving through this beautiful countryside, mountains on the left, rivers on the right, you know, just absolutely gorgeous, deer everywhere, but I'm like running out of gas quickly. And as my, you know, as my car goes down to tell me that I'm running out of gas and I've probably got about 50 miles left in the tank, I'm, I'm driving for another half an hour. So I'm pretty close to losing, just, you know, stopping and being stuck in the middle of nowhere. No cell reception because I'm in the middle of nowhere. I roll to this T-junction and on the opposite side of the T-junction is a gas station with a single pump and it accepts credit cards. I had no cash. And it was just like the Lord came down and gave me this pump. I think it was close to a place called Muddy Branch or I don't know where. Anyway, uh, that was pretty terrifying thinking I was going to get stuck in the middle of the wilderness in a, in a Porsche with no gas and no cash. Anyway, uh, all right, let's get back to it. Um, do I want the PCCBY, uh, the PCCB? brakes the uh, ceramic brakes for nine grand um probably not let's see if it's going to give me yellow it is going to give me yellow because it says there calipers and yellow um yellow and blue together i think looks very good show me the yellow 
Nope, it's not showing me the yellow. Uh, let's take that off, put it back on again. There you go. Well, actually, you know what? Blue and yellow, that does look really good. And I, if I really wanted the carbon brakes, I could get them in high gloss black. Um, but I do like the yellow, actually. I think that looks really good. Mm, no. Let's go a little bit more subtle. And let's go for the black brake calipers. Can it show me the black? You know, actually, I think I just like the red the way it was. So much choice. Blue and red? No, it's like asking your Liverpool and Everton mates to sit around the table and get on with each other on game day. Uh, right, we're going to go with black. That, yeah, there you go. That I, that looks better. Now we're going to get rid of that chrome in a second. Um, yeah, right. Ceramic brakes if you're a track junkie. Otherwise, save the cash. Yeah, that's, that's very good. Front axle lift system, yes. It's pricey, but... Um, my friend Chris, who has the 992 C4S, said that's the one thing he regrets not putting on his uh, spec. Um, and so I'm going to follow his advice. Uh, all right, let's go. Black goes well with the carbon as well. Yeah, I think so too. So lights and vision. Um, so I do like the PDLS. Um, they have, uh, which is the Porsche Dynamic Lights, which, uh, let's see, does it tell us here? Um cornering swivel and then it goes to low low beam depending on where you are so i think essentially the lights the headlights follow you and as you go around corners and they sort of like tilt out of the way if they detect light coming um over um i do like the matrix design headlights as well let's see you know let's just select them and see if they they show us what they look like what am i going to lose oh ah oh, tori packaged in black i don't really care too much about that right now um you know what? I don't. I don't actually like how they look. No, I thought they looked better beforehand. Let's take that off. Yeah, I think that looks better. So let's do that. Headlights in black. Touring package in black. We're gonna. Okay, you can take that off. Well, actually, it's the same thing. Um, the the lights are the same thing. That's what I had previously. Uh <laughs> Somebody is trolling me right now, um, giving me um, the Rick Astley lines. Rick Astley is cooler than I ever can be. Um, but I'll take it. I'll take it, because it's better than Shrek. That's the other one I get quite a lot. <sighs> oh, man. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, exclusive design taillights. Let's see what they look like. And, and this is where, oh yeah, I was going to say this is where the configurator starts to let you down because it you put you pile on so many options and it starts to slow down. Um, uh, Wombat, Mister Wombat Credenza there says he uses his front axle list system every day, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's a great option. So what I like here is that it's taken out the red bar across the back, um, which to me I think you know because I've grown up with the the 993s and the 996s and the 997s, seeing a red bar across the back just makes me think about um, the, the 4S. Uh, and this is not a 4S. And I know all of them have it now, but let's take that off. I like I like that clear. That looks really good. Auto dimming mirrors with integrated rain sensors. Oh, who can be asked with that? I mean, let's, let's be serious. Comfort and assistance systems. I am not buying a minivan, so I don't need... Well, do I need parking sensors? No, I don't. I don't need parking sensors. And I don't need traffic sign recognition. Nope. Um, interior. Ambient lighting. Uh, oh, come on, Porsche. This is ridiculous. Show us some photos. Yeah, I'm going to get the lighting package. I've had those in two of my 911s. And uh, I, I really like, actually, how they make the interior look. You know, you get these little bits of light around the doors and around the floor and by your feet. Um, I think that's really cool. Storage package for free. I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> so I get Shrek, I get uh, Rick Astley, and uh, no, I, I've actually never gotten John Candy. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I haven't gotten John Candy, but, you know, to be fair, I'm a fat knacker, so got to shift the weight. Um, 
Vehicle keys, painted. Oh, I can't be asked with that. Fire extinguisher. Yeah, why not? Let's see if it shows us. Uh, no, it's not going to show us. Now, more colors. What color are my brakes again? So my brakes are black. The car is blue. Um, yeah, seatbelts in shark blue. I was going to say red to go with... Um, oh, yeah, there you can see the, uh, the fire extinguisher now. I was going to say red seatbelts to go with the red calipers, but I've got black calipers now. Um, no, I, I like that. That's that's a really nice little subtle twist on the inside. Um, so those blue seatbelts uh, will go. Seatbelts in guard red. See, that was my instinct. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but we're going to go with shark blue. Uh, now, sports chrono dial. I do like the sports chrono. Even though I don't quite like how it sits on... The dash of the 992, I think the um, I think it just sort of stands up a bit too much. The the, uh, the the cover, the cap over it sort of like stands to attention as opposed to just sort of sits sleekly in the dash. But, you know, you've got to be able to see it, of course. Um, so let's, yeah, we're going to have the Sports Chrono. What are we going to do? Can we get it in shark blue? No. Oh, Porsche, that's annoying. Well, that leaves a market open for people like me. <laughs> who will make them uh sports chrono in white mm. let's see what the tack looks like in white mm. no that's just that's just really disappointing um no we're gonna take that off sorry Porsche not not cool so we're going to keep the interior as it is. Uh, you wish the touring option allowed the inclusion for the back seats. You know what? That's a that's a really good point. It's a touring car, right? So you, you're going to drive around the country. You're going to go on tour with it. Um, I guess you're not taking your kids. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it would be good if you could option them back in. I, I like that idea, actually. Uh, all right. Interior leather. Um it's going to just give us a picture, isn't it, again? That's just annoying, Porsche. But let's see. Uh, inner door sill guards in leather. Fuse box cover in leather. Necessary. Uh, interior middle panel. Um, vehicle key side bolsters. Uh, a wallet. Central air vents. Floor mats. Like, I would like the option to have some of those, but not all of those. So that's something that I think I would option in later. Um, the extended leather package... Just gives me the mirror, the fuse box, and the door sill guards, which are actually the things I would like to not have. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Center console lid with Porsche crest. Yes, I like that. I've got to add one of the other options. Standard interior. Oh, I'm going to lose my... Um... No, no, we're going to cancel that because I want the, the manufacturer, um, the, 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 the special interior leather package. So we'll do that. Um... Steering column casing in leather. Yes, I actually quite like that. Oh, we're going to lose that again. So I probably got actually all of these options in the specialist um, package. So I, I think I've got leather pretty much everywhere I need it. Owner's manual in leather for $500. No. <laughs> no. Interior race tax. Um, no. That's, that's another area where me and Nick Murray differ. No. Like, why would you mix a cheapy, plasticky, synthetic kind of half cotton, half plastic, polyester -y surface with beautiful leather. Um, you know, again, it's not like you need it to grip to your seats if you're just driving a daily drive. Just no. No, no, no. Um, no, just no. Interior carbon fiber. What else we got? Owner's manual wallet and carbon fiber. <laughs> uh, so this is where... Like, part of my brain is, you just said no to that in leather. And then over here, it's like, yeah, but it's carbon fiber. No, we're not going to do that. Extended area interior trim in matte carbon fiber. Uh, yeah, maybe. So let's see what we got. Dashboard, door panel, center console inlays, steering wheel trim, door sill guards, sports. Oh, no, I, no. Uh, oh, yeah, you got the back inlay. Okay, let's do that. I hope it doesn't clash with the manufacturer's. Uh, the exclusive leather option. No, it doesn't. And again, this is a touring car, so this has to be the special of special. Um, good afternoon from Bonnie, Scotland. Hey, Drew. 
Uh, my stepmom was uh, from Scotland. Glasgow. Uh, where does my uncle live? Just outside of Glasgow. I can't remember where. All right. Uh, aluminum or aluminium? Sorry. No. Communication. Uh, yeah, let's go for the bows. You know, it's better than basic, and I don't need to spend 10 grand on Burmeister. Uh, here we go now. Delivery experience. Oh. Let's go to LA. Um, I would say Germany. Um, but, you know, I don't want to pick it up and then put it on a... No, that would be fun. I'm doing that with Chris. You know, this is... I'm actually considering this like real life. Do I want to go to Germany? Uh, no, because of course I'm just making this up and this is just a pipe dream. But uh, I'm going to pick it up in LA because that road trip I did back with the 996 was just incredible. And I'll take more time this time. I did that in like two and a half days. I was knackered at the end of that. Uh, so color selection for stitching in deviated color. Um, let's see if I can do that and get some additional deviated stitching without clashing against the exclusive manufacturer leather. Uh, so, ooh, see, why wouldn't they give you shark blue here when they're giving you shark blue um, seatbelts and you've got a shark blue outside? Well, I'm going to go for chalk because that's what I got the, the rest of the stitching in, and that's a nice enough deviation from the uh, from the black. So I've got extended... Yeah. So I've got extended... Um, stitching. I've got the silver wheels. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, now what else can we get? Wheels and equipment. Um, a winter wheel and tire set. Nah, maybe. No, I don't need that. Decorative valve sleeves. Uh, yes. Monochrome Porsche crest. I like that. That'll go really well with the wheels. Are you kidding me? <sighs> You're spending $210,000 on a car and they're gonna charge you $64 per little valve sleeve. Yeah, <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> oh my God, that's ridiculous. Why wouldn't they be free? All weather floor mats, uh, it, it, this better not be. Again, it is, look at that, quantity, one. Why would you only get, all right, we're gonna to get to. All right, let's just, we're gonna do it. It's not taking us over 210,000. Porsche, that's ridiculous. If you're watching this, you're making somebody spend $210,000 on a car and you're charging them 200 bucks ish for all weather floor seats. Just, but I'm still doing it though, aren't I? <laughs> I'm still doing it. Uh, indoor car cover. Uh, ooh, with the, uh, the GT3 design on. Yeah, you know, I will do that actually. Uh, I only need one of them. I'm only buying one car. Uh, child seats? Nope. Um, Karen accessories? No, I don't need any of that. Uh, and then highlights. What highlights have we got here? Um, Porsche design chronograph. Oh, so this is the um, this is the fancy watch. Have you guys seen this? It's actually a really cool looking watch, uh, and you can configure it however you want. You can put like the old whatever. I think there's like a dozen different styles of rims that you can have on the back. Um, you need, uh, you can like configure the front and how it looks. I mean, like for nine grand, if you're not gonna spend it on your uh, ceramic brakes, then yeah. Uh, now there's one thing that I didn't see as we went through this and that was removing the, uh, removing the chrome around the window. And um, I think somebody just noticed that as well. Yeah, you did. Uh, all right, let's go back up. Where are we? Uh, interior carbon, no, leather, no. Oh, that's all interior. Let's go back up. Lights and vision. Okay, guys, help me out. Where is the exterior? Here we go. Okay. Um, stone guards. Puddle lights. Boo. That's it. No. So I can't get rid of the chrome around the window. That is disappointing. That's a bit sad. Well, I guess that'll have to be an aftermarket thing. That That's weird, though, because you can do it on all the other 911s. Again, what Porsche do a lot of time is they release these 911s with a certain number of options, and then a few months later, after people 
have pulled the trigger on the first 10 or 15 cars. They go and add more options, which is kind of cruel, I think, to the people that go in first. Um, but it is what it is. So here it is. Wow. What do we think, guys? Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Now, uh, is there a... Um, well, that's just going to be a background change, I think. Let's take a look at it with a naked background. Those wheels look so good against that blue. I'm really happy with that. And I like how the carbon fiber on the top of the, the wing mirrors tie in with the roof. Uh, it, it looks like Porsche have actually done their job this time and they've put the wheels out to the side so you, you won't need to be buying any spaces. Um, we've got the uh, exclusive option uh, light across the back, which is clear instead of red. Um, I thought I did get the, uh, let's go back. I thought I did get the, the black package, um, which gives me the black tail lights packages. Yeah, there you go. Touring package in black. You're supposed to get the uh, side window trims in black. So they should be black already, actually, with this black package. Um, tailpipes in black. I think it's just a configurator tool that's not showing us. Um, so I do actually have those options. That wouldn't be aluminum around or chrome around the windows. That would now be black. Um, oof. Wow, that is good. That is really good. Um, wow. Now... Okay, that's with a view interior. There is usually as well a 3D rendering um, in the configurator, uh, but it looks like it's not available yet for the GT3 uh, Touring, I guess. But there's usually a button down here somewhere to see the 3D rendering, and then as it renders your options in 3D, um, it kind of slows your, your uh, machine down for a little while. Uh, but what it does allow you to do is to zoom in properly inside the interior and you can see exactly how the, uh, the the deviated stitching looks across all of the surfaces. And you can look, I've zoomed in here maybe 100% or sorry, 200%. And um, the image is starting to get pixelated. It's, it's, it's only at a certain resolution. Um, but you can see a little bit of the deviated stitching there, kind of. Um, but you can't see it on the console. Let's see if um, it's not going to show, is it, on the seats. And actually, they're not the seats that I optioned um, because I didn't want fabric. So it looks like the configurator needs to catch up. It also looks like, is that the Burmeister logo? I don't think that looks like the Bose logo. So the configurator has got some way to catch up, but I guess you can kind of see some of the stitching options, um, unless that's just the generic look of the black. But I think the chalk against the black is going to look good. Um, let's see if we can see. Yeah, we've got a little bit of personalization here. You can see the chalk stitching around the outline of the black seats there. I think that looks really sleek. Um, and then the blue, uh, the, the, the shark blue um, seat belts there look great. I actually really like these pulls uh, with the, the stitching on as well uh, to, to bring the seats forwards and backwards. I think that's really nice. Um, the GT3s, at least the 992, uh, the 991 GT3s have got the fabric door pull on the interior. I'm not sure if if that's a fabric door pull here as well. That looks like the regular door handle. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the personalization. And of course, the carbon fiber, we've got the trim around the edge there. And we've got the trim across the front of the, of the, of the tech world that's been plugged into the front of the 992. Gorgeous. Oof. Looks so good. What do you think, guys? Is this for you? <laughs> it's for me. Oh, so good. Uh -huh. Okay, dealer contact. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on, internet. Hello. Oh, come on. Uh, don't allow. Okay. 554, five, what's my zip code? Porsche of Minneapolis. Let's contact my Porsche dealer. I've got $49,000 worth of options. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually send this to my mate Chris and see what he'll do. Let's see what Porsche say. Uh, James McGrath. 
contact at autoamateur.com. Phone number, you don't need to see that. <laughs> Mister, no, not a doctor. When are you planning to buy your next vehicle? Uh, let's say seven to nine months. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. one, two, three, Minnesota Street, uh, Minneapolis, five, five, four, two, four. I hope this gets rooted to Chris. I really do. Notes. Hello. This is for Chris P. I would like this GT3 Touring. I hear that they are not going to be very popular. So I imagine you will have a number of allocations going up for grabs, right? I also expect you might be willing to offer me a, say, 10% discount on the options I've selected. Many thanks in advance. Love your dealership, by the way. James McGrath. Uh, yeah, let's do it. My configuration has been sent to my chosen Porsche dealer. Yes! I will receive an email cop a copy um, recently. Oh, yeah, fa fantastic. I would love a copy of my configuration. Uh, fantastic, guys. I guess that um, I guess that GT3 Touring is mine. It's in the bag. Don't you, don't you think? You think? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys! That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So uh, thank you for for watching and uh, follow me along. Um, uh, getting some great comments here. I need more. Um, I need more carbon fiber. Buy it now. Yeah, where is the buy it now button? That would be absolutely fantastic. Um, an aftermarket carbon fiber hub. Yeah, uh, that, that would be really cool. I imagine that um, the aftermarket products will probably take a couple of years to hit the, 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 the market uh, like they have done for the 991, but it is what it is. Um, should have gone for yellow calipers and more carbon. I did really like the way the yellow looked against the blue. And actually... Um, I think the yellow calipers with the yellow seat belts would have looked really, really good. Uh, in fact, um, I know somebody, uh, Danny, who follows me on Instagram. Uh, nice guy. He has a blue 991 with the yellow caliper. I think the yellow calipers, but he's got the yellow seat belts as well and the yellow tack face. His car looks really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, I imagine Porsche of Minneapolis will be uh, getting back to me probably Monday morning and, and not only fulfilling that order, getting me the 10% discount on the, the options. Right? I mean, I'm sure they will. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for sitting through me, just enjoying uh, configuring this uh, GT3 on Father's Day. Um, and uh, more content coming soon. What What's happening this week? Let's think. Uh, what day is it? Ooh, well, actually, tomorrow is my wife's birthday. Uh, so there'll be no Porsche stuff going on tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, but after Monday, and we get past my wife's birthday, and let's face it, this is my wife's birthday weekend and birthday week that she likes to enjoy. I barely get a high five on my birthday, but whatever. Um, my steering wheel from Craft Customs is almost done. I was expecting uh, to get a shipping notification already. I haven't, but I'm expecting to get it back in the next week. Uh, I just can't wait to see what that thing looks like. They've pulled it apart. Um, you know, they've, they've started the job and I've seen what it looks like without anything on. I'm just now looking forward to seeing it with the deviated stitching and so on. Um, my front bumper has been dropped off. Um, I went actually in the end to Lemetri's uh, of Lakeville 
Um, and Lemetri's is the uh, the company that did my GT3 uh, body kit on my 997. And they did such a good job of that. Um, I ultimately decided to go back to them for that job. Um, so that's going to be cool. So the bumper's hopefully going to go on this week. Gowden Porsche parts in Las Vegas, which uh, sell all of their port, uh, OEM parts at a discount online. Um, they hooked me up with... Uh, all of the new uh, venting and, and doodabs that I need on the inside of the bumper to make it fit properly. So they've arrived. I'm just waiting to get the bumper back. So bumper install on my 991. Um, the steering wheel. My friend Noah with his gorgeous uh, blue 997.24S. He's bringing it over and we're installing a backup cam for him to connect to the Giotto unit that we uh, connected, uh, we, we hooked up recently live. So lots of stuff going on. Um, stay tuned, more auto amateur stuff across Instagram and podcasts and live here. Hope you have a great rest of your day and um, enjoy. Now, how do I turn this thing off? No idea, what am I doing?